Yo, what's up? It's your boy. I take you out, guy. Okay, Mr. Two Phones. As you can see, I got the Nexus 5X and Nexus 6 Project Phone Deck. All right. So this is 10 months. We celebrate, you know, toast. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's go and start this off right. All right. All right. So. I really don't have anything new, 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 new to talk about. But <laughs> my thing is, since since the beginning, since the beginning, it's been a collection. And, and I know I, I, I threw a, I threw a picture out with the same setup. I threw a picture out with the same setup um, earlier. Let y'all know, yo, yo, it's been ten months since since your boy been with Project Five. And, and do I have any complaints about it? Um, okay. Um, in between somewhere, I don't know, was it last month or a month before? Um, yeah, it was some data collect, it was some data stealing going on, and it got fixed with a security patch. So, um, other than that, that was the only bug I hated for real because I was like, man, I'm, I'm eating up data, I don't even know how I'm eating up data, <laughs> but. And, and this is another thing. A lot, a lot of people be bashing me about, man, I got to have unlimited data. La, la, la. I can't live without unlimited data. Uh, my internet at home sucks. I mean, hey, that's you. I mean, you got to you got to do your research on these internet providers, on these phone services and pick the best ones. I mean, some go cost some go cost a penny and some go cost hundreds. I mean, if you if you want the best quality then you want the best quality, the best bang for your buck. Then you go for the, you go for that. You don't go for the the cheapest one, cause that's because you, that's what you can afford. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Weigh it out, weigh it out, weigh it out, or or just stick with Wi-Fi. Just stick with Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? And with Project Five, you get Wi-Fi, you get two networks. Once again, I do not have to keep going over about T-Mobile and Sprint. And I'm gonna just tell y'all this: in my area. All the locations I've been at, T-Mobile and Sprint, both been on point. I mean, maybe it's because in a particular state I'm in that T-Mobile and Sprint are just that great. But like I said, I haven't had any issues with the networks. I haven't had any issues with the data sim only in the Nexus 6. And I haven't had any issues with the 5X network-wise. I'm talking about the networks, all right? So, they both work great. They, they they both work great. Let me go ahead and put the phones in. They both work great, all right? Nexus 6 is, is, is on point with Android in. Um, and uh, Marshmallow, is, 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 is fur. it's fur with the 5X. I mean, of course, you know, I, I get a little edgy with it, too, because I'm like, man, this battery, this battery, this battery. But it can, I mean, it depends on how you use your phones. Um, they both last a, de a decent amount or half a day, whole day. It just depends on how you use your phones, man. I mean, it don't matter what, how, how we, I'm not even going to get into this battery and performance, man. It's just how you use the phone, people. It's really how you use the phone. If you use it all day long, you, that's exactly what you're going to get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... I mean, if you're a working person and you don't have to have your phone 24-7 and you don't use your phone day and night, your battery should last you almost two days, if not two days. If you're just using it for texting and calling and some minor social media. Now, if you're a social media hogger, you better, you just better off getting a, a, a phone that's out, of, that's out of style that has like a 4,000 million battery or 5,000, whatever them blue phones got. You, you better off with one of them. Okay, if you don't want the latest and greatest operating system, get a blue phone, all right? But if you if you want the latest and greatest security patches, um, OS updates, you, you want the best phone network, you ain't got to get a Nexus. I'm sorry. That's just just, just the way it is right now. Um, hey, look at look at the iPhone users. It's even iPhone users complaining about the fucking iPhone. My thing is, why are you people complaining about stuff you love? Oh, this is crappy. La, 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 la. I wish it had some stuff, blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, if you say it was such a great phone, and, oh, this is the best phone on the market, but then 
maybe months down the line. Nah, it's crappy. Months down the line. Not, and not even a year. It's months down the line. Nah, it's crappy. Is it because somebody you know or, or you ran into has something newer than yours? And then you're like, dang, mines don't do that. Or dang, like, oh, he got a bigger battery or his display is better. Like, stop messing with the iPhone, people. Stop messing with it. Apple's dead. iPhone's dead. Sell something to die. It's about this. Ten months later, I have no complaints now. I, I mean, I can't complain now because... Even even at my job, people be asking me what kind of phones are those. Or oh, ooh, that that looks different. I never seen that. Like they see the back of these, they they never seen them. Like nobody at my job's never seen these phones. But you know, that's my job. I, this is what I do. I talk about them. You know what I'm saying? I talk about like yo, these this next five, next five, uh, next next five x, next six, um, Google phones. Then like, isn't it a Samsung a Google phone? I'm like well. It sort of is, but it's just a, it's Samsung branding, you know, and it's Android, and they're using their, man, I don't even want to get into it. I think, I know Android is open source, people. I know Android is open source. I know, but at the same time, it's just like, you have to go in detail for people that are not techy and not savvy. So you have to break it down to what the hell is Android, all right? <laughs> all right, so, all right, man, all right, you, you already know the deal, you I, you know, I got the little prizes and stuff because I'm an early, early adopter of the Project 5. You know, I got the 5X. That's the latest thing added on to the list. And it came with a new SIM card. So my thing is, I want to know if the new SIM card actually works with the Nexus 6. I haven't really heard anybody say they tried it out yet, but I think that's the next thing I'm going to do is try out the new newer SIM card um, that's in the 5X and switch it over in the Nexus 6. But the data sim is in the uh, next six, so I can still. Oh, and that's another thing, Hangouts. If people don't know about Google Hangouts, and I kid you, you should know about Google Hangouts by now. If people don't know about Google Hangouts, since this is not like on a a regular network, it's on the Project Five SIM card. Um, I can actually. Um, thanks for me merging uh Hangouts to my Project Five number. I can actually dial out numbers. I can dial out numbers, as you can see, all these phone numbers. I can dial out numbers and um, make calls using this phone if I if I needed to. Um, let's say if I set that down somewhere and I had this in hand. So, like if this was ringing, I can pick up with the Nexus Six using Hangouts. So, that's another advantage with Project Five. Um, and I think, to be honest, you could use any app and get called forwarding and. All that um, you can do that. Call forward is nothing new, but Project Five just just made it. Google just made it easier to use Hangouts. So that's my main messaging app, Hangouts. I, I use it for everything. I use it for instant messaging. I use it for text messaging, for calling, video chat. It's kind of like iMessage, okay? And that's what I don't get about people. People saying iMessage is a shit. Look, look. If you think iMessage is a shit. Try Hangouts. You got Hangouts on iOS. Try that, and then don't even ever use don't even ever use iMessage again because you wouldn't need it because everything will go to um, to your laptop, to your tablet, smartphone, another Android device. Um, the only thing that's not messing with is the Windows Phone. All right, that's that's it. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, like I said, man, I, I'm I'm glad I switched. I'm glad I got two carriers. Um, two phones, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I really didn't need a 5X, but if I wanted to try that new SIM card, uh, stuff like that, I had to get the 5X or the 6P and, um, I'm edging on getting the 6P. I mean, yeah, it's been seven months, eight months since the phone's been out, but yeah, man, I mean, look, <laughs> I'm gonna leave a link to all my videos, all my articles I wrote. Everything about Project 5, everything about the Nexus phones. Like I said, I really didn't have nothing new to talk about. But this is 10 months later, and this is what what has gone on since those 10 months, since I started. And like I said, I'm going to drop those videos, those links. Man, I'm going to try to tell my people, switch, man. Like, okay, and, and this is another thing. Okay, we're going to get back into that data, that data shit, all right? People say they need data. Look, you really don't need data, okay? Um, I, also, I'm on another uh, subscription, YouTube Red. 
All right. So if you you never heard of YouTube Red, I'm going to show you a little bit about YouTube Red. Okay, YouTube Red allows you to get use YouTube Music offline. Well, why do you need YouTube Music offline? Well, um your favorite videos, you can either you can either look at your favorite videos or you can listen to them. When I mean listen to them, offline mixtape. So this is what my offline mixtape looks like. I got a little bit of Lil Wayne, Drake, DJ Khaled, Cash Out Designer. You know, that's this is my this is my uh, this is my offline. So I can listen to this music offline without killing data. All right, that's what YouTube Red helps you with. Not not only that, but play music. Play music. It gives you unlimited access to music, old music, new music, your music. You can like send in like all your favorite CDs, your albums. You can put them all on here. As you see, I had to download only. And, and you won't kill data at all. So, I mean, you can use these devices offline, people. Like, you really don't need data unless you have to, like, make calls or something or something like that. All right? So, that's another advantage. Now, one more advantage is the actual YouTube application. Now, what makes this different? With YouTube Red, you get access to um, commercial free you get access to commercial free uh, YouTube so you don't have to worry about ads and all that stuff like that and once again you can download YouTube videos offline even movies you can download movies offline and it's only $10 a month people $9.99 for YouTube Red you get unlimited access to music movies YouTube and you don't have to worry about data that's why I like Project 5, because I'm not a data hogger. I don't need data. I mean, I really don't. I mean, my life is on Wi-Fi. I got great Wi-Fi at the crib. Oh, uh, and my jobs, I got great Wi-Fi there. I mean, the uploads is ridiculous at, at, at the job. At the job, I get like 20, 30 megabytes uploads. So if I wanted to, I could shoot a video at the job and upload my, my uh, videos in like five minutes. So, man, look. That's this this what this what this is about. Yes, Project Five does work for me. I'm a, I'm gonna say it. Project Five works for me. Ten months later, it's still a beast. It's on beast mode right now. Thanks to Google Hangouts. Thanks to YouTube Red. Um, and switching between T-Mobile and Sprint when I'm on the go, and and, and it actually works. Not only that, it's, it's applications. Let's go back into these apps one more time, people. All right, we got the uh, Signal Spy. Now this one is on my. Uh, this one's only on my data um, sim only, so it's only gonna show T-Mobile. But the fact, the matter of the fact is, and it's gonna show history, just T-Mobile. But this is the thing: you can switch. Like if you if you need to, you can you can switch between uh, carriers. You say T-Mobile sucks in your area, you need Sprint. It'll instantly switch you Sprint once you say I want Sprint. So there we have it, guys. I mean. Not, like I said, I, I babbled on probably 10 minutes. Hold on. Let me get a drink, man. People, there, there's nothing wrong with Project 5. Like I said, how I did it, it's on beast mode. Oh, and, and, and for beginners, for beginners that's got like one gig, two gigabytes, and they're afraid that um they're going to use up their data, it's an application on here called Opera Max and I talked about this I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description for the video alright for Opera Max you want to connect to Opera Max Cloud to save data and manage your apps so you want to connect you want to connect and um, manage your apps now as you can see and this is a very big deal in the Project 5 community the key ok the key the key is for virtual private networks and that basically protects your data from hacks and all that type stuff. So, and and I did another video on this recently, and I did. I know, I know. I said, I know. I said I was gonna get into a an a all virtual private network video. We're just gonna talk virtual private network, why it's so important, and why you need to know about it. But for people that that are like you know worried about going over data with Project Fi, you don't get charged out the asshole. Okay, this is not just, we're not talking about Sprint. We're not talking about Verizon, AT&T, all the mother carriers that are on that bullshit. You don't get charged out the asshole. So, what, what I mean by that is, and I'm going to do it in English. I'm going to do it in English. If you do go over data, it's like 
maybe 10 cents per megabyte or something like that. So, um, with my, okay, with my 5X, and, and this is the Project 5 widget. I don't know. I think I dimmed it. Oh, let me dim it. Um, this is the Project 5 widget. With this, you can, um, you can check your data. So, with the Project 5 widget, it shows you how much data you use and things in that sort. Excuse me. So, I use eight, 806 megabytes, 860 megabytes. Uh, my limit is two gigs. So, and then I got like, what, six, six days left. <laughs> I still got plenty of time to kill that, all right? And not only that, I got rollover data too. About maybe, I think, a gig. Yeah, I got like a gig of rollover data. So, I still, technically, I can use up three gigs if I wanted to. I, I can, but... My thing is, I don't want to blow money. I don't want to blow money on stuff I'm not using. And this is another thing. So if I don't use the two gigs or three gigs, I still get rollover. Rollover means I can use it next month if I need to. And um, if you do go over your limit, let's say I go over the two gigs, um, and I didn't, I didn't have that extra data. Like I said, it's only like a dollar, a dollar per hundred megabytes. So you're not killing anything, people. Come on. Come on, man. Like, it's just all about, I'm not saying it's about being responsible and all that stuff like that. Let me go ahead and uh, turn this off. I'm not saying it's all about being responsible and things like that. It's just about what you want. You know what I'm saying? Do you want that much data? Do you want 10 gigabytes? Do you want... Uh, a sixty dollar phone bill? Do you want an eighty dollar phone bill? Do you do you want a twenty dollar phone bill? Do you want a ten dollar phone bill? It's 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 all about the money. It's all about the money. It's not about it's not about this data, man. It's all about the money. It's all about how much you want to spend. Because if you think about it, let's say.